Heroes of the Empire, a documentary by Speechless Films. You can watch on Amazon Prime starting February 8th. This award-winning 60-minute documentary follows the 501st UK Garrison. They're a cosplay organization in the UK. You might have figured that out. They do fundraising events. And what this uh, documentary is doing is it it reveals the side of costuming that you've never seen before. Uh, This is, uh, it's it's won international film awards. They've done stuff for children's hospitals. Um, And so what it is is going to be documenting the impact that this organization makes on on the community. Mm -hmm. And as, as I mentioned earlier in the episode, it's great to spotlight uh, the goodwill that is spread by cosplayers because it's not just building, um, for Jesse, for example, it's not just building armor, modifying the, the cosplay. There's like a purpose and there's like a, there's a role that you can play. And so I know that uh, something that interests Jesse is that he wants to take that, that, Mandalor- that, uh, that cosplay at some point, that, that, that Mandalorian, and you want to showcase it off. You want to make some kids happy with it. Yeah. I and mean, we got to do that when we were at um, uh, the Wizard World last year. Oh, that was mm-hmm. such a blast. You had, more, you had at least 150 people stop you. I have something really special planned for celebration. Don't, don't give it away yet. We'll talk about okay. that later in the show. So. We have that planned. I want to start with David on this <laughs> one because uh, Amazon Prime is something that I've gotten to uh, enjoy about the last six months. I got the Fire Stick. Mm-hmm. I was very much opposed to the whole streaming thing, and, and I've gone a 180 on it. And Amazon Prime... What they do great is like the document, like Netflix has good documentaries. Mm -hmm. I really enjoy like the shooting difference in these documentaries that arrive on Amazon Prime. And so I'm really excited that Amazon Prime gets this. It's now going to have this worldwide release coming up next month. David, as a fan that appreciates cosplay but that does not cosplay, are you interested in watching something like this to like – like it's it's Star Wars content, it's but it's different though. I would be interested in it because when I went to my first con last year with you guys at Wizard World, it blew me away at all of the cosplay that occurred. So I'd be very interested in seeing a short little hour long documentary about that. My question is, how many people actually watch this? Because I know a lot of people who are on Amazon Prime, but they do it because they want the free shipping. You're the only person, David, that I really know that actually watches Amazon Prime for their video streaming service. Oh, okay. Well, so to me, it'll be interesting how many you know how many people actually watch this, just because everyone I know does Netflix or Hulu. Jesse, is this another example of how cosplay in general is becoming a little bit more uh, mainstream? I mean, if you got mm-hmm. a documentary on Amazon Prime, this is going to be a lot of exposure for the art of it. You've got to be like. In cloud nine right now. Well, I mean, the 501st, I mean, they really set, um, s- s- they basically set everything up. I mean, somebody out there is like, you know what? I want stormtrooper armor, <laughs> you know, and I'm going to, you know, figure out how to do it. I'm going to get it. And more, and this caught on and everything. Um, there's already like, you can find small little interviews for some of these guys. Um, the, the work, and it's not just the 501st, but the, the Mandalorian Mercs, the Rebel Legion, uh, they do so much in their communities. I mean, the thing is what most people don't realize is for the 501st, it's garrisons. There's the mm. Illinois garrison or something. Uh, but for the Mercs, uh, you know, it's uh, the Nexu clan is, it's, you know, is for Illinois. Um, th- worldwide. Yeah. Okay. And yes, this focuses on the UK and everything, but uh, don't. It's it's a worldwide thing. And these groups they raise money for all sorts of things, uh, children's hospitals, cancer research. Um, you know, and that's the thing is, uh, especially you know, visiting children's hospitals and everything. I mean, these are kids that Some they, of them they can't terminal. they yeah. can't leave the hospital for whatever mm-hmm. reasons. And so when they see one of these, you know, they don't see me. They're you know. What they're going to see is if somebody dressed up, to, they're going to see Darth Vader. They're going to see Boa Fett. They're going to see a stormtrooper, maybe or Princess, or Princess mm-hmm. Leia. I mean, we had the, you know, a phenomenal uh, Princess Leia cosplayer that we showcased months back. Oh yeah, Rebecca um, crushes yeah. it. Yeah, so it's one of those things where like, and even just yeah, me going to Wizard World. That was just me just having fun nerding out. But you guys missed this moment. I was standing in line for that contest. And there was people walking by, and you know, of course, and this mom was like, "Oh my god, I, I, how long are you gonna be here?" I was like, "I don't know, maybe five, ten minutes." You know, like I'm waiting in line here for the con, you know, to, to participate. And um, she's just, she came back, and her son had heard that you know, they don't really realize that there's you know, thousands of Mandalorians or something like that. You know, yeah. they, they just see Boba Fett or Jango Fett. Mm-hmm. He had heard that there was a Boba Fett. 
at the convention and couldn't find me. And he was upset that he didn't get a picture. So her, you know, and they, he was already out in the car and she was on her way out. Kind so of she thing. went back, got the son and brought him back in. Yeah. And everything. So it was like one of those things where like, Aww. you know, it's just, you make somebody's day. Yeah. I mean, you even saw this even just, we weren't even in the convention yet and people were running, you know, pictures. Mm-hmm. They love it. And that's and it's happening, entertaining. And, and that's entertaining. happening for, happening for cosplayers all over the yeah. world, which is evident by this documentary. So like, I'm really excited about it because I think that they're going to explore maybe a little bit about like the passion behind why they cosplay. I think you're going to get to see the reaction of these kids uh, reacting to the cosplays. And, and that's like the thing is like, it's all going to be feel good. And I'm really excited about it. I actually reached out to um, Speechless Film. They're like super friendly and they want to get the word out and they're super helpful. And uh, I'm just really excited for uh, this whole project. I think it's super cool and I think it's highlighting cosplay um, in a way that hasn't really done before. I don't know of like any uh, mainstream documentaries on like the 501st. Like I see like YouTube videos. Yeah. We've done videos this where we've kind, met. This is kind of a first, yeah. something that's actually really yeah. highlighting um, one of the Star Wars cosplay uh, groups. And we have people you know. in the live chat right now saying that they watch stuff on Amazon Prime too. Yep. So you need to you need to be a little bit more respectful to the consumer base. Listen, all I said is I don't know anybody who does. I wasn't disrespectful. Well, it sounded, a, a, it sounded like shots were fired and Miss P took it that way. What do you think about this cosplay documentary on Amazon Prime? Are you going to watch it? Or are you going to let me know what you think about it? I hope so. Let me know in the live chat or us in the comments down below. Thank you for watching Beyond the Blast Doors. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment. Beyond the Blast Doors, a Star Wars conversation.